Hey everyone, welcome back to day two of Alpha 20, Seven Days to Die. Uh, we are still hiding in the corner like a scared child, and uh, we're about to start day two. At 4 a.m., it's go time. Our goal is going to be to try to get every quest a trader can give you in one day for tier one done in one go. Now that we hear that day chime starting, we know that it's safe to go outside. You could even, I think if you're listening, hear uh, a zombie dying there. Some Sometimes even in the early game, zombies uh, that are a little bit harder will spawn at night. So the trader's not open yet, so if we try to go to the trader now, it'd be like... Oh, it doesn't teleport you? Oh, there we go. It teleports you away, so that's why we took a quest from him last night before... before he closed up for the evening. So our goals for today, we're gonna get try to get all the quests he can give you done, and then we're gonna try to decide on our melee weapon of choice for this playthrough. Um, you can respec with an expensive item you buy from the traders later on in the game, but it is a very expensive item, and it's not a good use of resources till late game when you kind of have as much money as you can deal with. And I'm thinking between the club and the sledgehammer, because like I said, this playthrough is gonna be just my normal playstyle, trying to survive max hordes for seven nights or seven horde nights. And uh, we've already got this level two club here, so we're gonna stick on club for now. I'm gonna wait until we level up maybe one or two more times if we can get away with it, and then we're gonna choose between the sledgehammer and the club. And the reason I'm doing that is just to see if we pick up a better club or a better sledgehammer or even some books that oh, archer. I'm not going archer game. You can't make me. Taking care of business. Oh. Alright. Poke our head in here real quick and see if there's a workbench to loot. There is not. I don't like cheesing the end of uh, POI loots too much by like, getting doubles by resetting, but I don't mind here and there poking around. Some people are super purists and they won't touch anything before, and some people will only like loot the end of POI loot before they reset the POI when they start the quest. So this was a clear the area quest. So let's gonna move on. We don't need to rush too much because oh here comes a bird. Oh one hit, nice. We should be able to jump onto this power line. Oh, I was not running. Oh, nice. So we don't need to rush too much because we can't really progress our immediate goals before the uh before the trader opens for the day so that he can give us more quests. I can't remember when the trader's open, if it was 7 a.m. or 9 a.m., so we'll shoot for 7, and then there's some nice POIs back near the trader we can do, or now that we've got a wrench, we can actually break down some cars and get some good materials early on. For now, though, let's just rush our way through these Tier 1 POIs. Ooh. Oh, speaking of wrench, oh, we, they really wanted me to have a wrench early in this, eh? There's a, they're like, I was talking about how much I wanted a wrench, and like, here's a tier two wrench, and here's how to make wrenches. I am not going to do too much hunting for meat, so we're going to break down that stuff right away. I'm not going to use the feathers because I hate bows. Uh, I got five medical bandages now. Is this thirsty we are? Thirsty and hungry. All right. That's what we get for hiding in a corner, right? Some red tea. The red tea uh, gives you deficient digestion, which gives you, like, you get more more food back from food. We're going to polish off both of these right now. And I forgot we have honey, so we're kind of safe from infection for early game, too. We've got a really strong start. We didn't get, like, anything super amazing, but we already got a lot of nice schematics. So... If you're sneaking around, like, as you can see the bottom left, there, a little eyeball says how visible you are. If you step on the glass, it makes sounds all, you see, even though it says I'm still, like, barely visible. Let's say that the noise didn't go up that much, but even though it said I'm barely visible, clearly he heard me. You step on the glass and they come after you. The one thing that is funny is that you can go up to the broken glass and actually break it with the axe, and that won't make sounds that'll uh, get you caught. That's A-OK. -okay. They can't hear you for that. Man, those head explosions. So over the top. In a good way. Alright. Um, we climb up this? Oh, looks like we can go outside through here. Or not. That's just... That's just background. We go outside through there? No, there's a... Right. 
like I said, there's like an intended path that they like you to go through the POIs where you shouldn't have to break anything. And don't get me wrong, if I get a couple points in minor 69, you can just break through walls to go to objectives, but it can be nice to uh, kind of follow the intended path sometimes. The dungeon design, and they are actually really like mini, mini dungeons. The dungeon design in this game is quite good. Oh, sometimes there's stuff like hidden behind. Oh, uh, see it's locked though, and it's going to take me a long time to break through it. And I don't have any lock picks. I'm going to pass it up for now. I'm sure someone is super mad at me for passing that up. They're like, get every chest. So leather chairs, you can get leather. A leather duster, if we can learn how to make it, is one of the nicest items to get. Because it really protects you from hot and cold pretty well. The only time the leather duster isn't really enough on its own is when you want to go deep into like the uh, ice biomes. Then you need like a maybe some winter coats or some inserts for your armor. My candle now. Hmm. Nah, that doesn't give you candles. Uh, sometimes the cooking pots that are like that, if they don't have like the press E to pick them up, they're actually uh, disguised landmines. I haven't gotten caught by that as much in my last couple times playing, but it's been a long time since I played this game, so I gotta be careful. I don't get randomly blown up. It's not the damage that the mines do you really gotta be scared of, it's the broken legs it gives you. Although I do have those two casts back in my stash, which is a, a plus. Where he is. One ginger. One angry man. Oh, he's waddling a little bit faster there, gotta be careful. Oh, I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Just hide behind the door. Wait for my stamina to regen a bit. That's one of you down. And that's a doubler. Oh, and that's the quest done. Nice. Alright. Ooh. So, pipe rifle. Pipe is the lowest tier weapon. They're not great, but, I mean, any gun at all is good, really. I might see if I can scrounge up... Oh, there's a pipe shotgun, too. Let's say, oh, and there's a. I think that this here, the barbed wire mod, is uh, enough to make me decide to go clubs early. At the level 2 club, and the, the level 2 club doesn't need that much because if I upgrade my clubs, I'll immediately get the ability to make it. But yeah, let's put a one point into clubs. We're going to go clubs this game because the steel club, the highest tier of a uh, club, Really amazing. Little key rack here to open the door for us. I don't think the uh, trader's open yet, so we're going to take our time and kill anyone that's hanging around. And loot the... Uh, what's this? Hmm. Oh. I knew he was there, too. I was just like, ooh, shiny loot. He should have infected me. That would have been, uh, been just what I deserved for doing that. Uh, I hate the pipe shotgun. It takes so long to reload. We're not going to use that. Uh, we can repair this pipe rifle because it takes pipes. Uh, what are our food at? Let's just throw these in our gullet. I don't want these right now. And we said that we want to go and find a source of water. So since I think we're waiting for the trader to open, let's see if we can find a source of water. Where's, oh, I forgot to mark the trader on my Mac. You can put, like, waypoints here, so I'm going to mark. It's like when the quest is there, obviously, but... Trader Hugh. Alright. And let's see if there's water over there where it looks like there's water. Or if it's just an empty... Oh, there's water there. Alright. So, in the open world water sources you can get this muddy water. Murky water, sorry. I think we'll just go ahead and skip cardio for this playthrough. It's not that great later on. Ooh, a claw hammer already. Nice. It's not that great later on when you get uh, actual motorized vehicles and the like. It's really only useful for the first few days. I mean, it, it's helpful a little bit all throughout the playthrough, but... Uh, there we go. Okay. Where's that water we had? Did I, did I accidentally throw it in here? Oh no, it's right there in my inventory. Blind. Um... Did I... Oh, that's the output. 
It's been a while since I played this game, as I was saying. All right, murky water takes two minutes forty cooking. We can just use our pre-made blocks here, and then we'll have sixteen clean waters to drink. Let's make ourselves some frames while we're waiting for the trader to open. Uh, how many can we make? A hundred. Make sixty-six. So we still have a nice bit of wood held held on there. I didn't accidentally put a food over here, did I? Nope. All right, and now I want to start. This trader's not open, right? Oh, it must be six a.m. The trader opens then. Hmm. There's a. Well, you All right. Did. Ooh. Okay. So I suppose you want to be paid. Permanent damage in mountain lines is nice, but it's nice to get the damage to uh, dirt for your shovel right away. Let's see. Closest quests. Let's do the. Let's just do all the closest quests in order, and we can put that in our shovel already. What do we have? Health bar. We want that. Sugar butts. We want that. So these candies will give you like a temporary bonus. They're really nice. Like this one here will give you plus bartering. This one here will give you like uh, the important thing here is natural crit healing, which actually translates to uh, you heal injuries like broken legs and the like faster. And I just noticed we've got over 2,000 dukes. So we want that cigar. Are you? Yeah. Well, it's about time you bought something. So this goes in the slot, I believe, that the bandana was in, which is just a little heat and cold resist. We don't have to worry too much. And then, as you can see, we got a little cigar there. We need to work on getting some nice clothing today, too. But now you can see our strength is boosted, and it'll allow us to... Uh, Oh, I thought it, I thought it was green because the green means we have it right now, but it's like, you know, we're level three, but we're two plus one, and we can immediately buy other points here. So this is the thing I want to get next. It helps with your stamina usage with tools and melee attacks. All right, so I was kind of delaying a little bit just so I could have a stack of water to take with me, and we are good to go. I'm gonna drop off these uh, candies over here just so I know where they are. All right, I think we're going to go with uh, no restrictions on the horde base just because later on when the max towards are really start going when we get to like the later game stages and uh, we get to the later stages of the game and we've got like just a ton of zombies alive at once because we've maxed the hordes. It'll be nice to have our own like almost like tower defense style horde game accidentally opened the chat there. All right. Now that we've got the Gravedigger mod and the shovel, only two hits for the uh, cobblestone, we're going to be picking up all that stuff from now on as we wait for the, uh, the nurse to get up there over there. Oh, that's something they added uh, recently into the game. The zombies didn't used to be able to crawl through smaller spaces. Sometimes they'll crawl through spaces they don't really need to crawl through, but they can be a little bit more unpredictable. When they do so you got to be kind of careful when they crawl start crawling around and it lets them get through spaces on bases a little bit easier too in fact i haven't really played since uh they updated the ai for horde knights like uh, the way they attack your base uh so i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to survive all the way through seven horde knights on max alive at this point of the game because I, I know all the ways you used to be able to make really strong horde bases you know like Kind of like manipulating the enemy AI to make them go where they where you want and the like. But I'm not sure which of those work and don't work anymore. Is there a way to go here? Was I meant to drop down from above? I think I'm meant to drop down from above. All right. Anything soft to land on? No, there isn't. Oh, oh, e uh, er. that is concerning. I don't think these hazmat guys are actually all that much more scary than. Normal zombies? Nah, same amount of experience. Alright. Here. I thought there was a bunch of zombies spawned there and I got scared. It was just a couple. This is like a meth lab building or something. Not a hazmat suit. He's just a uh, extra from Breaking Bad. Walter's stunt double. I told myself I was going to go really fast today and uh... Get as many quests done as possible, but here I am just looting everything. But that's what this game's all about, you know, it it 
scratches that looter shooter itch. Oh my gosh. Nice of you to drop in. Nice. Man. You're really cooking up a storm in here, eh? What are these ingredients you're using? Glue, oil, acid. Oh, that's not what I wanted. These really aren't the uh, most ideal things to make drugs out of, even. I do want to, since I've taken the time to loot everything, at least find the... Uh... Oh, there it is. The, I was going to say the end of POI loot. Where the slightly higher quality stuff should be. Oh my gosh. She's doing flips. Jumping over them and everything. It almost sometimes feels like you don't even need to hide from the beginning game zombies at night. But we don't have... We didn't have any combat stuff or any armor. Speaking of which, there's some armor there. And uh, the difference between these low-level zombies running and not running, like day and night, it's, well, it's day and night. If you can imagine. That was a, that was a bad one. All right, let's loot everything up and then let's sort through what we got real quick here. All right, so we got scrap armor, which is heavy armor. It slows you down a bit, but it's pretty good stuff. I'm just going to throw the splint away because I got some casts back home. Scrap, scrap. Uh, throw the Crippler mod in here. I forgot to pick up some bullets for this. I meant to do that. One bone is not worth it. Shale is something more late game. 25 sand's not enough for me. I'll drink the can of stock. Okie doke. Let's head on out. Ooh, actually, before we head on out, like a trap there, as you can see in the floor, it makes you fall down. Might as well finish looting everything in here. I'm gonna accidentally fall in there, even though I know there's a trap, aren't I? But I really need to start piling up some of them building materials so I can make a really nice horde base. One thing I will say that the Max Alive Hordes, it makes it, it sounds a lot more dangerous than it is, just because even though that you've put the amount of zombies that can spawn at one time to the maximum it can, if you look at like the game stage, level so we're level 4, game stage is level 6, which is a combination of like your level and how many zombies you've killed and all these types of things, if the game stage isn't progressed very far, you still won't get the maximum amount of zombies that can spawn to spawn for the first or sometimes even the second horde night you'll still just get like a smaller number of zombies to spawn i want to dump everything into here and here meds are in here and coal is eh, i didn't even notice i had such a small amount of coal there uh, let's take these, as that's what goes into a pipe rifle. As you can see, the pipe weapons are not exactly the greatest, but one pipe rifle is, or one pipe weapon is kind of worth using. And all we need is two glue and four short iron pipes, which I think we might actually have. Short iron pipes, glue, uh, yeah. We are going to use the pipe rifle is pretty bad, so we're just going to use the pipe machine gun, which, in my opinion, is the only pipe weapon that's really worth using. Now, if you're on a harder difficulty, any weapon is a weapon, right? But just like that, there's 12 in the clip, and I mean, you can, you can pretty much tell how big of a difference it is compared to that pipe rifle. We're going to try, uh, try to avoid using ammunition anytime early in the game, though. Especially if we're only out at day. Surprise, surprise. Ooh. I suppose you want something in return now. That's really nice. That can be put into any piece of armor to increase the elemental resistances, like the hot and cold resistance. Uh, very supplies. So I kind of want to wait until I have more digging power, like stronger shovel or stronger miner 69er. Uh, let's just go with the closest one. Okay, we have a 
really clearing out the area of quests. Bird nests are really nice to loot. If you're going like bows and arrows, it's good because you want feathers to make arrows. But the eggs are really nice. Sometimes I'll even just buy the eggs from the uh, shop. I really need to stop looting every little thing. Oh, sewing kit. Oh, more sewing kits. The game's like, yeah, you do need to loot every little thing. That's what I was talking about. I need sewing kits for pocket mods. But if I want to progress, like, the number of quests I get done, I really need to stop looting every little thing. Even though you get some nice stuff sometimes. Once we get the uh, bicycle, we can really take our time and... Uh, might as well learn it. We can really take our time with the bicycle to uh, go around and loot all the best stuff and discover where we want to set up for our Fortnite plays, which are the big deal for this playthrough. I mean, they're kind of important for any playthrough, the Horde Knights, but they're the kind of main theme for this one. I'm playing on one above the normal difficulty, but later on, if the Horde Knights, even though they're maxed, seem too easy because I haven't put any restrictions on, like what I'm allowed to do for Horde bases, I might up just up the difficulty. But that's something for way in the future from where we are now. We've got enough pipes back at home. Drop sand, drop bandage. Alright, what are we doing here? We're finding the White River supplies. Do they want us sometimes they'll have these little lights that kind of guide you in the most efficient path to complete a POI. It's a really nice touch. Oh. Oh god. I'm almost tempted to use the pipe uh, pipe machine gun on that. I'm gonna harvest you too, heckin' bird. I haven't gotten caught up caught out by them too much in this playthrough. So uh you might not believe me when I say they're the most annoying, dangerous enemy early game, but believe me, they are. Alright. What's going on down here? Huh. Nothing yet. Let's close this door real quick and investigate this bathroom. Oh, businessman in the closet. The 90s sitcom. Oh, that was an early kill. Loot, loot, loot. It really feels, it just feels good to just loot things. I don't know why. Human nature, I guess. Well, and that is the quest done. We're gonna want, oh, I want that leather chair though for leather. <laughs> and that desk, loot it. Check behind these picture frames. Looting fiend. I wanna get the end of uh, EOI loot though, for sure. Just because. Who's there? This early in the game, the, your, when your loot bonus is low, which you can actually check your loot bonus on your character screen, I believe. Uh, loot stage 7, which is a combination of like your talents and like the game stage. And uh, like if you're in a higher level POI, it also increases your loot stage. Um, it might not even be really worth it for me to hit every end of EOI loot right now. It might be worth it just to progress the quests, get my bike, and get that loot stage up. But... Oh, hunting knife. Sometimes it's really worthwhile, especially super early when I don't really have all the things I want yet. Oh, there's a dude. Oh, right there, too. Especially, the Tier 1 POIs are not dangerous, but you kind of want to get your stuff out of the Tier 1 so that you're fully equipped and prepared for the higher tier of POIs. You don't want to just rush into, like, especially Tier 3 and Tier 4 right away when you don't have any gear. Ah. Uh, had to give me. I want to get at least full armor, right? 
I had to give me armor for the slot I already had. I really love the mobility you get from wearing light armor, though, so I'm going to have to uh, go ahead and uh, destroy it. The medium armor, that is. Even though if you get like medium ar or medium, the heavy armor, heavy armor talents and have like, like really good quality heavy armor with like all the mods in it, it's really hard to accidentally die. But I just love the mobility you get from having the light armor on. Let's uh, sort our inventory a little bit so we're not quite as encumbered. Scrap a bunch of things. Now that's charred meat. The only problem with the charred meat is it reduces your water a bit, but we have it all that boiled water, so we're not concerned with how much water it's taken away from us. Not right now, anyways. Pass and gas. Ooh, another shovel. And bicycle handlebars. I almost could have just... I already found a wheel, too. I could have just saved that chassis I found earlier. Uh, for now, though, I'm just going to scrap that. Uh, I mean, I'll wear it for now. It's armor, when I didn't have armor before. And I already had a, skull, a ball cap mod, so... Uh, where was my inventory? Modify with the ball cap mod. The really funny thing about the ball cap mod too is not only does it like you're wearing a football helmet, but as you can see, can you turn the model around? But anyways, as you can see, you're just it makes it look like you're wearing a hat. And not only that, it gives you the full like heat resist and cold resist as if you're wearing a ball cap, even though you're wearing like a full football helmet. So the, the hat mods are really nice. Is there a key rack around here to let me out? Anywhere, Bueller? I think these pieces of wood, no, though, 500. Is there an easy way out? Oh, are you the easy way out? Nope. I guess I'll just be, I'm sure there's an easy way out of this POI, but we're just going to break through this window. Oh, no. Sounds like there's someone outside, too. All right, how, how, how strong are these? Oh, they're only 100. Nice. Certainly better than busting through these a thousand blocks. Okay. Oh, that's a nice little, uh, the church POI might be a good place to set up our first horde base. Because they have these walls already for us. I don't know how the AI works with walls that well in... Oh, get back here. I'm gonna harvest you. The, the hunting purists in this game are mad at me. They're like, use a knife, you get more meat. I know. I'm just not patient enough for it. I always end up with... Ooh, I got a honey on that one. I always end up with more food than I need anyways. Oh, we're encumbered. Let's look. Oh, that's worth a lot. That's worth a lot. Five nitrates? No. A uh, little bit of soil is nothing. Let's use that. Oh, I was full. I didn't even notice. Let me scrap that for iron. Four papers, nothing. And that's zero. All right, now we're not encumbered. You can tell just how much faster we're running. When you're encumbered, it really slows you down. And we're already 2 p.m. I really need to start motoring through these tier one quests. Yes, less yapping, more questing. We got our cigar already, though, so that's already a pretty good goal to have hit before the stores reset for the first time another thing we want to look out for is nerdy glasses which give you an experience bonus and an intelligence bonus really kind of helps speed it up too plus i don't want to dump a lot of points into intelligence but there are some really nice skills to get in intelligence so it helps you get deeper into the intelligence tree without Looking spending all your skill points special? i am well, i guess you ain't so bad uh, a little something for your trouble I hear I thought you had something special. Uh, let's take the mod. It's good to have a nice assortment of mods for later. Uh, we might try to do the buried supplies quest overnight, or like, well, hide for the night and then get up in the morning before the trader opens and do that one. Oh, I'm gonna sell some stuff. Alright, sell these part bow parts, handlebars, military armor parts. Later on I want to make military armor, I think, but not anytime soon. Everything else I want to hold on to. Good luck with that. 1700 dukes. 1700 biggins. 
You can get a lot of resources quick from mining, but, uh... Oh, leveled up. That chicken had lots of experience for me. But, uh, I want to wait till later when I have, like, you know, the ability to mine faster. Repair everything up real quick. You're in my way, lady. Even just a couple points in lake strength and clubs, and it already feels so much faster. Like, obviously, that was, like, a, a critical, and it just kills it for you anyways, but... It's just faster, as you can see. There's a man hanging out there near where you want a quest. I'm just walking slow so I can recover my stamina before I get to him. Same to you, friend. Boop. Boop. Is a tough man, I tell you what. He's got that extra padding, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna get this cobblestone before I restart. Any zombies hide? Nope. Cheese myself a little bit of extra cobblestone. So you can see how that can really get out of hand when you, uh, if you take the really precious resources before you reset. You could go through all the way. Some POIs have a lot of cobblestone. You could go like all the way through the POI and get so much stuff. Let's drop that. Now that we have pants on that are actual pants, let's put this pocket mod in there. And as you can see, where'd it go? Didn't, yeah, we got extra inventory weight. That's why that book that teaches you how to make the double pocket mods is really nice to get early. In fact, I think if you go to the cities, like, uh, if you can find a city in your map, I don't like to know what the layer of the map is before I play a playthrough, but if you can find a city in your map, like, uh, newspaper dispensers really have a high chance of having, like, the lower level books. And I'm pretty sure the clothing recipes count as lower level books, clothing recipes and, like, archery books and the like. I guess we're jumping down from up here onto this couch. Anybody? It's already 4 p.m. Ooh, is that a TNT recipe? Stick of dynamite recipe. Nice. It's really dark in this home. It feels like uh feels like it's night already. Oh, oh, it's raining out. I understand. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of extra leather here in case we get the recipe to make the leather dusters. In fact, do I have the recipe to make the dusters? No. But I will have enough leather to make one if I find that recipe. Okay, so what do you got? Spear Hunter? Like I said, those recipes that you've already acquired, you can still get experience just for learning them. Are there people in here? No. Figured I would take a look. Oh, nice. Loot. Not the worst. Some of those loot bags get a lot better in the late game. But you also, especially when you have like maximum live horde knights, you can get a lot of loot bags to drop in a short period of time. See, I really need a headlight mod. I think the vision is fine for the uh, recording here. It's not super dark in this room. But especially if I do any night quests later and I want to make a video, I need to get like a, a headlamp. I could just turn up the brightness of the game, but that's way less cool, and it feels kind of inauthentic. Opening and looting stuff can be really loud sometimes, so I think the zombies outside that you can hear walking around heard that. This is the medicine that I was talking about, that if you take this medicine, it says disease resist 100%. You can eat these sandwiches and you won't have any percent chance of getting dysentery. I tend to do it like if my hunger is low, I'll take one of those medicine and eat like four or five of those sandwiches though. Do I want to take care of that guy before I go downstairs? Nah, he can go beat on the door. It's fine. Let's kill the zombies downstairs first. It's dark down here though, I must say. Um, I got the flashlight. That's not how you use a flashlight. I thought I... How do you turn it on? 
Do you turn it on? What? I thought you could turn the flashlight on. Am I mistaken? I always thought you could do that. It's really dark down here. I, I want to go, uh... I see that the icon for where the loot is that I need to find is upstairs anyways. Over here? Oh my. Over here. Hmm. I am going to turn the brightness up. I wouldn't usually do this, but it's just so that you guys watching can see it a little bit better. Hopefully I'll remember to turn that back down after. It's just so that people watching can see the actual gameplay. Because I, I'm not really scared of the dark down in this basement. It's just that I'm scared of the recording being completely unvisible. Where are all these zombies? Oh, here we are. Oh my. Get down, Mr. President! That's a real, real good friend you had there. Too bad it didn't make any difference in the end. I keep saying I have to hurry up with this quest, and I'm like, but there's so much cobblestone! Don't you understand? I might not even have to go out of my way to get any extra cobblestone to make the first Horde Knight base. Oh, my stamina is getting low. I should uh, let her regen a little bit so I don't get absolutely destroyed by one random zombie lady. Ooh. Didn't have to worry. Lots of pumpkin seeds, eh? Real clothes? Boots? I don't think I had any boots on. I mean, goth boots, but I mean, boots are boots, right? The best sources of like cobblestone, like you can make it and from like stone and other things and whatnot. But if you just take the time to like pick up the cobblestone as you go through uh, EOIs like this, you almost never have to go to your way to farm any for like Horde Knight and the like. And then a little bit later on, ooh, in the fireplace, a little bit later on, the uh, the traders tend to sell a lot of cobblestone really cheap. I think it'll give you stacks of cobblestone for amount of money that really doesn't bother you later on in the game. Ooh, electric wire relay, I think that was. Was it? Oh, electric timer relay. It's the upgraded version. Oh, I didn't mean to destroy those nails. Ah, they're easy enough to make later on. Loot. Ooh. Ah, oh, it's power tax to the legs. It's nice to get. That was the. I went ooh because that's a series of books that relates to uh, your club. Another modification that can also go in a club. For now, we don't have space in the club, we'll put it here. One cornmeal is nothing. Drink this, eat this. Eat it, eat it! Two cotton is nothing. 41 sand is nothing. Oh. Hmm. I don't have enough cloth to make a pocket mod yet. It's gonna give me cloth. A little bit. Let's try to make a pocket mod real quick. Ah, oh, we can. And then we need 15 more cloth to make the last one of three. You can wear three pocket mods at a time. One, I believe, in in your uh, your legs, your chest, and your... Oh, and your overcoat. Yeah. I forgot that I left some guy beating on the door upstairs. Let's go see what he's up to. There you are. Oh. Almost looked like he dodged there for a second. Alright. Alright, back to the trader we go. Uh, six over encumbered. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. Um, shirt. Pocket mod. Um, mm -hmm. Two paper. I'll just drink that. What time is it? 7 p.m.? And we said that the trader closes at 9.50. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think we're only going to be able to get one more quest done today. Oh, there we go. We'll have enough to make a pocket mod right away. His uh, smoke from his chimney spawned in. This game, even though it's not like crazy graphics, because it's voxel based where like everything can be destroyed and built, it is amazingly rough on uh, computer hardware. In fact, I, I recently had a small upgrade in hardware. I didn't upgrade my video card, which is why my settings are still not maxed. But I would never have tried to even record this on my old hardware. I never would have guessed you'd go through, but you did. So here you go. We'll take a book we haven't learned yet. Oh, and here we are. Bicycle. 2,000 tokens. Some nice stuff here. A level 6 wrench? Oh my god. If it weren't for the fact that a bicycle is a bicycle, you know. So a special job, this will show me a trade route to Trader Wrecked. Good deal. Put the bike down the ground. And the best thing about it, there's storage in the bike too. Alright, for now, get that pocket mod made. Dump the rest of the stuff. Uh, I don't have an overcoat though, so I can't put the pocket mod in anything. Alright. What I like to do in the way I play the game is I like to carry these candies in my bike and medications and the like. So things like that can uh, solve broken legs or dysentery, things like that. I like to pile it all into these. Uh, there's like on the bike, there's like limited inventory slots, but it's stuff that's nice to have around, but you don't need it on you at all times, right? So. Like you can run out to your bike and cure your broken leg. Maybe not run out to your bike to cure your broken leg. Maybe you crawl out to the bike to cure your broken leg. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to get a quest from this guy other than to find the other trader. Oh, he's not that far away either. Alright, do you have any jobs? cabin we're gonna take that quest we're gonna clear that cabin and then we're gonna hang out in that cabin for the night i think that's gonna be our safety spot for the night uh, boiled water creepy sounds all right do we have any food i just realized uh yeah let's take these with us since we're gonna go hang out in the cabin for the night um Oh, we got sham sandwiches. The sham sandwiches go together with these, as like I said, so later on when we get more hungry. Ah! <laughs> we can see our character. He's not stylish at all. As you can see, though, like, just getting the bicycle is such... Oh! I just realized the quest I am tracking is the trade routes one, and we said we were going to go hang out in the cabin for the night. Where are you? Way over this way. As you can tell, even though it's just a bicycle, the difference in mobility between a bicycle and the like is huge. Alright, hopefully we can get to this cabin and clear it out before the zombies start to run, because that's going to be real iffy if we don't. We're still not really strong enough to be out at night. like. You might get away with it, but you also might get spawned on some, uh, you know, dire wolves, which are bigger versions of the dogs and are really hard to deal with early on. We do have that pipe machine gun for like, you know, uh, if we're caught out, you know, save us, but it's not exactly the most secure of things. All right, we've got one in-game hour to make this area safe to sleep for the night. I ran out all my stamina. You gotta be really careful with stamina in this game so you don't end up in that type of situation. Okay. So the quest marker started here, so I think they want you to go this route. Loot. And 50 rocks. I don't know if this was the intended entrance, but I'm gonna come in from this side so nothing can drop down onto me. I think those ones are not stable enough to stand on. Oh! 
There we go. Power attack to knock you down. I think those are... Yeah, those break, so... You want to be careful. Hmm. Do we want to jump down anyways, though? Oh. I was going to look for somewhere to get down onto that bale of hay. Hmm. No more people in here? Oh, they're all in here. Don't get up. Not on my account, anyways. Swing away. There's just something so satisfying of the way he just one-handedly, like, gives it the bonk. Oh, only one more guy left alive for the quest. Oh, down here. All right. Let's clear the quest so we don't have to fight any of the quest mobs at night. All right, that's the quest complete. Let's go clear our area for the night. Oh. Do I hear any more people? I don't think I do. Can I close this door? Was it a bad idea to use the key here? Where's that key? Well, I can't close this door because it's locked. I'm just going to do this, actually, go upside. So that no zombies randomly come in the basement. I shouldn't really need to upgrade it for like taking damage because this is just to stop them from wandering into the home. Oh. And then we're going to go get back inside and hide for the night. Before we have to fight any dire wolves or something random. Oh, or a biker. Give me that. My torch. that guy know where I am? No, I've got six vision. He can't know where I am. All right. We're still early enough in the game where I don't really want to go out of my way to fight anything. So we're just going to clean up the inside of here. And when I say out of my way to fight anything, I mean at night. Oh, I should loot this first. And this is what I was talking about. Look on the right there, like the wrench on this type of workbench. Ooh, so many things. I have attracted the notice of something outside, though. What are you beating on right here? Oh. Luckily, I got in the building. Oh, I got two skill points. Someone tried to come in the front door. All right, we have a... Uh... Oh, I dropped off all my cobblestone. Is there any in here to pick up? No. Oh. After we let this guy in. Let's, uh, just in case, do one of those things. All right, after we let these guys in, we're going to take care of them. Oh, no. Oh no. Um. No messing around. All right. I'm going to stop tempting fate and I'm going to be a good boy for the rest of the night. I'm going to hide in here with my torch. I'm going to look into in the next day, kind of like starting a base so that I don't spend my nights not being productive at all. But for now, we're not going to start any fights so we can't win. I've been kind of fortunate, actually, even though I've gotten into a couple of fights, not to get any broken limbs of the lake so far. All right. I like how there's some power working in the apocalypse, at least. Um, scrap up our stuff. Okay, well, that's it for day two. Uh, I think we made some decent progress. We got our bicycle on the go. Uh, on the next day, we're going to start looking towards where we want to set up at least a temporary base. And we're going to take a look at the other trader. And maybe we'll set up a base in between the traders because that would be pretty convenient. And then we're going to work into making some serious horde base thoughts and defense thoughts 
so that we can get ready for those Max Alive Horde Knights. Uh, thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you back for day three. Yeah.